with rumors of Vince McMahon returning to television and more. This is Wrestling Hub. My name is John and you're watching The Wrestling Report. Calling out fans who feel Vince McMahon is no longer with the times, Eric Bischoff said on 83 Weeks Podcast, the whole Vince is old and out of touch thing, you can argue that maybe creatively because you don't like Vince's vision of what wrestling should be, but it doesn't mean that he is not in control of his faculties or that he's missed a beat. I think that's internet wrestling chatter because people aren't happy with what they're seeing on television. Oh, it's because he's too old. No, ageism, right? I would say the events of the last week would suggest that he is far from out of touch. During an appearance on Keeping It 100, Dominic Mysterio talked about his run as a babyface with his dad in WWE, saying, When I first started with my dad, it just seemed like an over-exaggerated version of me. I'm very laid back and very calm, and I just felt like I had to match my dad's energy. So it was always like, always smiling because they were like, dude, you got a great smile, you gotta smile more. Touching on Chris Jericho leaving WWE, Kurt Angle said on a show that, I thought Chris Jericho was going to be a WWE lifer. I never thought he'd ever leave. He left before, and I think he went to Japan, but never really signed with another company. At least, not since he was in WCW. He was in WWE for the longest time, and I never thought he'd leave and go to another company. Regardless, Chris Jericho is a huge star. He should always be in the main event, and he should be winning a lot of matches. It's not like he's past his prime. He's still going as well as he ever has, and as long as he's doing that, you need to continue to push him. When it comes to potential future plans for John Cena, it was reported that a changed live event main event could have a lot more behind it than meets the eye. Fightful Select has learned that WWE had at least planned to film something with John Cena and United States Champion Austin Theory while Cena was in for the December 30th SmackDown show. Theory was originally scheduled to main event the Toronto live event that night in a cage match with Seth Rollins. However, Theory was pulled from that show to travel to Tampa where he was set to film a segment with John Cena. We are told if that was to be digital for future use for 2K, but the segment was filmed. We can confirm WrestlingNews.co's report that as of November, there were loose plans for John Cena versus Logan Paul to take place at WrestleMania internally, but two months later, we don't know where that stands. Talking about the possibility of Wardlow having heat in AEW due to his booking, Conan said on Keeping It 100, I've met him a myriad of times and he's always very respectful, very professional, always dresses nice, looks good. He's a star and you've made a star which is not easy and then you let it flame out. That's your fault unless he has heat. And the stupidest things can get you heat nowadays. So people are like walking on eggshells, but bro, heat or no heat, you should have pushed that guy. He should not have lost to Joe clean like he did, and then afterwards, he got bum-rushed again. On Superstar Billy Graham's Facebook page, this was written about his current health situation. Hi folks, Billy's wife Valerie has supplied an update. She thanks you so much for your prayers, and would be so grateful if you would please keep them coming. Any donation to Billy's GoFundMe would be greatly appreciated. They are facing mounting treatment and rehabilitation costs. Thank you and God bless. They said his heart rate and blood pressure are stable enough to transfer him to the PCU on the third floor, so that's what's happening right now. They had to wait for him to finish dialysis before they can move him. He's nervous about being out of the ICU, but I explained it's because he's getting stronger. During a WWE live event, Baron Corbin tried to hit The Rock's people's elbow on Dolph Ziggler. Here's the video.
Talking about it, Vince McMahon's return to WWE will affect The Rock making an appearance at WrestleMania 39. Dave Meltzer noted on Wrestling Observer Radio, the basic thing is that Dwayne Johnson is going to do what he has time to do. If he has time, the Vince stuff is going to have no impact whatsoever. He's going to do it if he feels he can do it well and he has time to train for it, which he may not because of the XFL. The Vince thing will have no impact. A sale to Saudi Arabia is a different story, but that's not going to happen before wrestling. WrestleMania anyway most likely. Vince coming back, is it going to affect John Cena? Is it going to affect The Rock? No. They're going to do whatever they were going to do before. They expect John Cena at WrestleMania. And as far as The Rock goes, it just depends on his schedule. I would say we're within two weeks of a yes or no on that one. Because they've got to have their answer by Royal Rumble. Because they've got to know what to do at the Rumble. I don't know what his answer is. I look at the schedule. He's got to promote this XFL. I don't know that him doing WrestleMania. WrestleMania promotes the XFL, but if he's got time to get in shape for the match and train for the match, he'll do it. And if he doesn't, I don't believe he'll go there to be out of condition and have a bad match. Staying on the topic of The Rock making an appearance at WrestleMania 39, Dutch Mantel said on Smack Talk, Well, if they can't bring him back for this one, he still looks great. He's going to look next year. He's going to look great the year after that, unless something unforeseen happens. So it is still open for him to come back, but we're talking about this year. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer talked about Bray Wyatt facing Uncle Howdy at WrestleMania 39, saying, I think we're getting that match at WrestleMania. It sure looks like that way to me. It's something. I mean, Bray's a merch seller, and Bray's over, and you have to do something with him. And the top guys probably want to avoid him because his history with top guys. I mean, what did Bret Hart say? You go in as a 10 and come out as a 6? When it comes to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon potentially starting their own pro wrestling promotion, Dave Scherer of PW Insider said, I would say no chance in hell because, well, you know, but I try not to speak in absolutes. Whatever the longest of long shots is, that is the answer here. With that said, if Vince really does the most heinous thing I can think of and sell to the Saudis, which would make the company a leper here in the US, I could definitely see Steph and Triple H going to NBC Universal and pitch starting a company for them. Following Stephanie McMahon's departure from WWE and her post as co-CEO, Ariel Hawani reacted to this on the Bill Simmons podcast. Her resignation is a bad sign. She's so likable and respected. She is the quintessential businesswoman. If she decides to do something, imagine a media company run by Stephanie. I feel like she'd be successful in whatever she does. Speaking about changes that could take place in WWE following a sale, this was said about the prospect of returning to charging $60 a pay-per-view by the Wrestling Observer. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. If it's Endeavor because of UFC, I believe that they would absolutely look into the possibility of it. Because look at what they do with UFC and their similar businesses. I don't believe it will be done. Now, what could be done? The idea of pulling WrestleMania or maybe WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, and SummerSlam and making them pay-per-views but keep the other ones on the network, I could see that. I think that's probably even the best way to do it. Or maybe you even go with WrestleMania alone, and that's the only one. Because you've got two days of WrestleMania, maybe charge $40 a day, people will pay it because it's WrestleMania. The flip side, the thing is though, is you can't do it until the contract is over. So I think that the thing is, when this Peacock contract is over, and you're evaluating all this, you have to look at what is Peacock paying you. Because the amount that Peacock pays, it's not like they're paying a certain amount every month it's weighed so they get paid way more for wrestlemania month than any other month so are they getting paid more than they would make on the pay-per-view i don't know the answer to that but i would say that in endeavor is to buy I would say that absolutely endeavor would look at the economics and consider it and they will go with whatever is the best economic idea you've got to remember this is not wwe network this is a figure way way above wwe network if it was just wwe network i would go ahead and say wrestlemania summerslam royal 
Royal Rumble you put on pay-per-view and the other ones you don't because you're in charge of that. This is something that's been sold to Peacock on the idea that they're getting WrestleMania on their streaming service. So you can't go away from it. And they're getting so much money from Peacock, way more than they would make on pay-per-view or on WWE Network, that the economics may very well be that it's not worth it to them to take WrestleMania back to pay-per-view. Touching on what could happen if Vince McMahon were to gain control of creative in WWE, it was said by PW Insider that Triple H could see all his new hires be let go. If Vince McMahon does, and I will say if, because I don't want to assume he will take over creative, since it would really hurt my enjoyment of the company. Yes, everyone who he saw nothing in before, he probably won't see anything in at that time. Talking about Vince McMahon making a return to WWE programming, the Wrestling Observer pointed out that Vince is at the office. He hasn't been to TV yet, but I say probably yet. There are certainly rumors running around that he will. I've asked people, and they wouldn't be surprised. But it's not like there's a date. There's that feeling that Vince is going to want to go out on TV, and he'll get the big reaction when he does. But he is in the office. He is talking about things other than the sale, and I think there will probably be more and more Vince fingerprints as time goes on. As far as as creative goes it just depends on if vince wants it he'll work to get it and this was your pro wrestling news update i hope you're all having a great day thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all later